All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the a SATA to USB uh, adapter for the Xbox 360 Slims so you can extract the key and um, flash the drive with the incompatible chipset or with the chipset that works just whatever really just it works with all chipsets okay I'll show you what's gonna happen first without using the uh, SATA to USB adapter um, with the incompatible chipset okay I can't extract the key I can't get the drive into vendor mode without doing PMT probe uh, and nothing without um, using the SATA to USB adapter. I'm going to show you how. Okay, as you can see, I have the I have the SATA cable going straight from the DVD drive into the computer SATA port. You can see it right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you that we turn the drive on. Okay, now I'll open Jungle Flasher. Okay. Now, I'll try to get it into vendor mode first, and I'll show you I can't even do that. Okay, there's my DVD drive right there on um, dual channel port 0x9c00. Okay, now watch. I'll try to enter it into vendor mode. For that, you hit intro slash device ID. There you go. Sending vendor intro to port 0x9c00 status 0x51, which means it failed. Do you want to resend? No, because it failed. It's just going to continue to do it. It's just not going to work. Okay? Now. Okay, now I'll try to get the key. Same. There's the drive. Same port. Okay, now I'll try to get the key. Slim key. Do you wish to unlock? No. Vendor, fail. Status 0x1. Do you wish to resend? No. Slim key failed. Okay, now watch. That's going straight from the DVD drive to the computer. Okay. Close jungle flasher. Okay, now take the SATA adapter. USB to SATA, SATA to USB adapter. Okay, I'm gonna plug it. USB. I'm gonna plug it into the back of the Xbox 360 Slim and one of the USB ports. Doesn't matter which. You can plug it into your computer USB port if you want to. I'm just doing it in the back of the Slim because it's right here and it's easy. All right. Let me show you here. Okay. Right there. Plugged in. Back to Xbox 360 Slim. Okay. Let me turn it off. Fix the front cover. Okay. Now, we'll unplug it from the computer. into the SATA adapter so I figure out which way okay there we go plug straight from the SATA adapter follow the cord as you can see the cord is going to the back of the DVD drive there you go okay now what you do is once that's plugged in Turn the drive on, open the DVD tray, as you can see I have a burnt game in there right now, close it, okay, now unplug, after you close it, 
unplug it from the adapter. We'll leave the Xbox on, okay, and plug it sh just straight into the SATA port on your motherboard. See, there we have it. Straight there, into the back of the DVD drive. Now watch what happens when we open Jungle Flasher and try to get the key. Not doing anything different. Okay. There's the drive. Port 9C00. Okay. Now watch. Slim key. I want to unlock. No. Now look. See? It's getting the keys. There's the key. Key sector verified. Key found. Key has been tested and verified. Thanks, C forever. Now, you can save the key to wherever you want to save it. Save the inquiry to wherever you want to save it. Save the identify wherever. Save the serial wherever. And the dummy dot bin. You make sure you save this dummy dot bin in your key. Save them all just to be safe. Okay? No on there. There you have it. There go, there's your key. You now have your key. Alright? Now, to in order to flash it, you need to enter it into vendor mode. So, let's close Jungle Flasher. Okay. We're going to turn off the drive. Unplug it from the computer. Plug it back into the adapter. There, see? Into the Xbox. Okay, we're going to turn it on again. Open the drive. Close the drive. Okay. Now we're going to unplug it from the adapter again. Okay. Um, Back into the port. There you have it. Okay. Open Jungle Flasher again. Alright. Empty Gate of Flash. There's the drive. Same port. An intro to device ID. See? There we have it. Good to go. Drive is now in vendor mode. Now you can write to do it or do whatever. Well, there you have it. It's as simple as that. All you gotta do is plug it, start it out, plugging it into the um, adapter, turn the Xbox on, open the disc tray, close the disc tray. Once the disc tray is closed, unplug it from the adapter. And then plug it straight into the port, and then you can do with it as you wish in Jungle Flasher. Thank you very much, and I hope this helped some people out. Because I know it sure helped me, and I know there's a lot of others out there. And this saves you from having to buy the um, US X360 USB Pro and the uh, Maximus Lizard. This cost me $20. Um, I went to a local Fry's and got it. Um, they had several different options available. I just grabbed one, basically. First one I grabbed, work, no problems whatsoever. So I'm sure they all work, um, saving you about $70, $80 for the Lizard and saving you about, I don't know, what, $40, 40 or $50 for the X360. Plus you don't have to wait for shipping. Just go to your local electronics store. Well, thank you very much. Hope this enjoyed you. If you have any questions, just let me know in my tutorial. Thank you.